Mac Mini DVD Drive Replacement A1347 2010 only. The tools we'll need are T6, T8 screwdriver instead of tweezers. Go ahead and begin by flipping the unit over and hitting that like button. Jokes aside, as you can see there's a little dot right there. What we want to do is put our both fingers on the left right and kind of twist it counterclockwise about a quarter of an inch. Uh, and then we can just tip the unit over and remove the rear cover. Now we have access to the uh, inner parts of the Mac Mini. We'll need to remove the three screws, T6 screws, that are securing the fan. Go ahead and start with the top right screw, then the top left screw, and then the bottom right uh, long screw. I like to keep the screws in place, just unscrew them, now you can lift up the fan and then gently from underneath, get your finger under the cable and push up until it pops out of its socket. Make sure to do this gently, don't rip this cable. Next let's remove this T6 screw that is securing the uh, bracket, it's just a plastic placement bracket, uh, it doesn't really have much of a purpose. Go ahead and remove that screw and just kind of pry it right out and put it over to the side. We'll need a T8 screwdriver for these two screws on the side of the white fly antenna. And now a T6 screwdriver for the two bottom screws. With those removed, you can go ahead and start lifting up the Wi-Fi antenna. It's uh, connected. Go ahead and pull that connection apart gently just pop it up and out. There we go, Wi-Fi antenna is out. There are two screws here holding the logic board to the case. Go ahead and remove this bottom one first. Let's remove this screw right here. This screw is the last one holding the logic board in. Uh, remove that and put it to the side. Now let's go ahead and disconnect both the optical drive, the hard drive, the sensors for the hard drive and the optical drive as well as the other two uh, peripherals right there. So with those uh, six connections disconnected we can go ahead and push on the heat sink while holding the case breath thumbs and the logic board should pop out just a little bit you want to get it out about half an inch to an inch and now you want to go ahead and pry the hard drive out. The hard drive comes right out. So here let's go ahead and twist the unit to the side here so you can see a little better. Let's go ahead and pull out that power cable near the memory with our tweezers and now that frees up the board and we can just completely slide it out and the logic board is out. Remove the power supply screw that connects the power supply DVD drive to the frame. Now remove the DVD drive screw on the left. When removing the power supply, things are going to get a little tricky here. Stand up the unit and take a look. You see that there is a little safety pin? Go ahead and pull it out from underneath. This will allow us to spin the uh, power supply connector in the counterclockwise direction. As you can see, I started to twist it. You can't really twist it without removing that retainer pin. So once you remove that and you twist it to the left, uh, you can go ahead and start pulling it out and the power supply should come right out. Now with the power supply out of the way, the DVD drive can get just lifted up and it comes right out of the case. Now taking a look here, uh, they got it wrapped like a mummy. Um, I mean, very unnecessary, but you will have to remove these uh, screws here. Uh, there are four screws on each side. Go ahead and remove those and take it out of the frame. Transfer over that sensor right there. Reassembly Mac Mini A1347. Put the DVD drive into the case in the following orientation. You can put it through the circle or just slide it in like we did here. Align that uh, attachment hole and go ahead and secure that screw. Go ahead and slide in the power supply into its orientation. 
just like so. Make sure you're not jamming up that power connection cable to the logic board. Go ahead and align that hole. Now let's go ahead and uh, stand this unit up and start screwing in uh, clockwise this time the uh, the connector into its little slot. You'll see it after you play around with it. You'll get it in the grooves and you can see it firmly goes in there. Once it's aligned and straight like so, go ahead and slide in that retainer clip to secure it so that it doesn't come out or slide around. Just slide that clip right in there like so and that locks it in place. Now let's go ahead lay down that unit put in the hard drive uh, just slide it in first uh, and go ahead and secure that last screw securing the DVD drive the uh, uh, power adapter to the case. Let's go ahead and slide the board back in uh, gently making sure that it um, uh, is aligned properly and going in with these now when we're about an inch out go ahead and plug in that power cable from the power supply uh, this might take a little bit of uh, messing around to get that in straight but uh, it's not that difficult once that's plugged in make sure that none of the cables are being blocked uh, and uh, go ahead and clip, push the clips on the logic board um, in on the side and slide the logic board into place. Okay, now you want to make sure you pull out any cables if they're jammed. And we're going to go one by one. There should be six connections here. Uh, so we'll start off with the, uh, the first two ribbon ca cables there that we're popping in place. Uh, then the uh, sensors from the hard drive um, and from the optical drive as well. Um, that might take a little bit of time. Once those are in, go ahead and plug in both the hard drive and the optical. Make sure you hear that click. Uh, they should be firmly in. Check all six connections before you proceed. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that seventh one is the fan. Go ahead and pop in that screw securing the logic board, that T-screw. And go ahead and put in that last screw securing the logic board, the last T-screw as well. Go ahead and align the Wi-Fi antenna in the following orientation. Put its cable over the uh, Wi-Fi card clip and then just pop it into place. Make sure it's nice and tight and locked. Now go ahead and align the antenna and secure the bottom uh, two uh, T6 screws first. And then the uh, two uh, T screws on uh, the right and the left. Now let's place back this useless bracket. Um, I guess it's designed to protect the heatsink from the top of the case. Go ahead and secure it on the bottom with the T-screw on the bottom only. Now let's put the uh, fan over the logic board and go ahead and click in its connector. Make sure it's nice and firm and connected to the logic board. And now align it. And make sure that long screw in the bottom goes all the way through. Now go ahead and secure those uh, T6 screws. All three of them. We can now go ahead and put the top uh, over at an angle first. And then twist it into its locking position. And that's it. We're all done. Thank you very much for watching.